Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're going to be looking at the state of healing in Dragonflight or just basically some of the problems that seem to be appearing specifically in Metabuse content. This is going to be looking at what makes healing fun, the problems associated with the current seasons and what I would like to see happening in something like season 4 because season 4 is an experimentation season so what should Blizzard do in order to try and make healing a little bit more fun let's go and get started so a little bit of background about myself in terms of what I've been doing I've been healing for majority of Dragonflight I've been healing for majority of my time in World of Warcraft I enjoy healing a lot but over the last couple of seasons there's definitely been a couple of problems that i would like to address or at least my issues with mythic plus healing i've been playing preservation of Ogre in season one i didn't really push too much in terms of mythic plus content in season one uh, you have to remember that there is a big talking point about the fact that i've been hugging a lot versus doing mythic plus in organized group with discord with assigning defensives assigning cooldowns and things like that there's a huge difference we'll talk about it. so season one i played preservation of Ogre. i didn't push too much i did pug a lot in Season 2, I played Preservation of Ogre until there was a lot of rework happening to Holy Paladin. And if you wanted to do any high Mythic Plus keys, you pretty much had to play Holy Paladin. The balance was absolutely atrocious. There was a god comp that was had very little type of interpretation in terms of what classes could fit into it. The Holy Paladin had a monopoly on spot healing. You basically had to play it. So Season 2 was probably the closest I've ever gone or thought about quitting world of warcraft because i thought the comps were very restrictive i was really disappointed about the power of other healers i don't even think it was a problem with holy paladin being too overpowered i think it was crazy or the power of holy paladin was pretty insane but i felt like other healers should have the toolkit to compete with holy paladin versus holy paladin being brought down to other healers season two i played preservation i played a little bit holy paladin i was poking mythic plus content primarily i didn't have a team and in season 3 is the first time that I decided, hey, I want to push Mythic Plus. I found a team, I'm pushing, and hopefully we're going to get rank 1. And I'm enjoying my time immensely in season 3. I have a lot of fun healing this season. But this kind of brings back the point of hugging versus having coordinated groups as a healer. And that is a big talking point. But we have to kind of go back a little bit about the differences in terms of healing, in terms of how Blizzard approach Mythic Plus Dungeons. In Shadowlands, the best healers were the healers that provided the most damage depending on which season you're playing. So when you're looking at previous expansions, specifically Shadowlands, the healing balance was a lot different. There were healing checks, but they were not the same as they are right now in these seasons in Dragonfly. So in Shadowlands, you would play a healer that would provide the most damage. I remember playing Restoration Shaman, Vesper Totem, Earth Elemental, Legendary, you are pumping DPS. I remember doing videos about best healers in Shadowlands. And one of the best healers or the cons main considerations for a healer that would be considered meta was how much damage they could output. Whether it's going to be their damage or something like true PI, power infusion. So it was more about how much DPS you can provide. DPS was a huge aspect of healing, which sounds crazy because there were a bunch of comments in those videos where that is insane that the best healer is the one that provides the most damage. In Dragonflight, Blizzard kind of flipped that around a little bit in Mythic Plus content, or they flipped it around in an immense way, because Season 1, there were only two healers that were able to comfortably or decently meet some of the healing checks, because the healing checks were insane. If you played Preservation of Ogre or Resto Druid, initially, in Season 1, early stages, they were the only healers that were just pumping HPS and were kind of carrying groups. Then Blizzard got the balance a little bit better, and in Season 2, the start of Season 2 was actually really, really good, because... The season 2 early meta predictions or meta classes for healers, a bunch of the specs made it into the top list, which was really, really cool until Holy Paladin got reworked. Holy Paladin became the only healer with Monopoly on spot healing because you have to remember for the longest time in Dragonflight, with the exception of Holy Paladin during the rework, a lot of the healers in terms of spot healing were very limited. You had AoE cooldowns, which were really powerful, and you would rely on those a lot of the times. But when you're doing Mythicless content and there's consistent spot healing required you don't have cooldowns for all of those and then let's say for example someone dips to 10 percent hp you're pressing your single target abilities or single target heals on them and it takes quite a bit to get them to the top and that was a big problem in season two because holy paladin came about with the rework and they had insane spot healing they had really nice toolkit and you just had to play a holy paladin and then blizzard looked at that they're looking at the current season in terms of season three and then they're like we're going to flip it on its head. We're going to change everything. We're going to give you a bunch of... We're going to increase your spot healing for all the healers out there. 
we're gonna nerf your aoe abilities aoe healing abilities a prime example of this would be restoration druid flourish which was severely nerfed and we're also gonna make mana resource in my opinion mana resource changes were an absolute failure because there's a bunch of healers out there who have mana issues and there's a bunch of healers out there who don't care about mana let me know how you feel about mana as a resource there's a lot of people out there who say that mana is almost an archaic feature in retail especially when it comes to mythic plus content let me know how you feel about that so season three has changed in a significant way your spot heals are more powerful i genuinely have more fun in season three versus season two i think season three is a lot better than season two but that is not a high bar to set because in my opinion some of the seasons in dragonflight in terms of healing were one of the worst ever and that is i've been playing this game for a long time what are the biggest issues that are happening in season three or that should be fixed in season four first of all pogs versus coordinate groups i pog a lot a lot of people assume i have a fixed group that i only do mythic close and push mythic close that is not true i have pogged a lot of high keys i've pogged a lot of weeklies i play every single healer and i can see why people complain about healers i can see why people don't want to play healers i can see why people keep asking why can't we find a healer in our mythic close group first of all there's too much emphasis on healer affixes i think a lot of affixes fall into the healer category as a healer it feels like you're almost babysitting the whole party which in pogs you don't know if people are going to dispel afflicted you don't know if they're going to cc incorporeal you don't know if they're going to keep rolling the bursting stacks and you have to like there's just a lot of unknowns in pogs situations and as a healer a lot of times you're responsible for that because if someone dies they might be like one heal and that honestly completely triggers me but uh a lot of the times you're responsible for a lot of the group on top of that as a healer you're kind of expected to dps expected to heal expected to use your utility well every role should use their utility but you're also kind of expected to some extent handle some of the affixes and then that just kind of becomes a little bit too stressful when you bring in some of the really high healing checks on top of the incredible amount of one-shot mechanics that can happen in high pokes. There's a lot of emphasis in Season 3 for one-shot abilities, for survivability. There's even websites out there to tell you if you're doing 30 or plus 30 at Al Desire, can you survive the last boss mechanics? So survivability is a big deal. There's a lot of one-shots. There's a decent amount of heal checks out there. I do think that healing feels a little bit better because your spot healing is, again, it's not personal opinion, it's factual. Your spot healing is better because Blizzard pretty much buffed every single healer spot healing. So there is that. I think there are more positives in Season 3 than versus Season 2. But again, the bar is not really high. So if you're poking Meta Blues content as a healer, there's a lot of expectation for you to do. And you need to be a type of player that enjoys that type of responsibility. There's a lot of people who came down to me and asked me, hey, I want to start healing for the first time, but I'm really scared. I have healer anxiety. Yeah, you will have healer anxiety. There's a lot of things you need to do. Now, keep in mind, healer DPS is not as impactful in Season 3 than versus something like Shadowlands. You absolutely do not need healer DPS to time keys. Especially if you're doing weeklies and things like that. You don't even have to. It's not as important. But if you're pushing higher keys, you still kind of want to provide damage. You don't want to sit there and do nothing outside of your... Again, if there's no one needs healing, you kind of want to press your DPS abilities. So you're doing a lot of things as a healer. There's a lot of responsibility. If someone fails or if someone dies, a lot of the times in pokes, people are going to be like, Hey, why did you not heal me? I genuinely say this. If you're a DPS player who's only played DPS and you're watching this video and you comment on other healers and you say like, why is this healer so bad? Why is he not healing me? You have no opinion in this matter whatsoever. You need to try, you need to play a healer for yourself and experience mythic close raids or whatever. You need to experience healing and then you'll have an honest opinion of what healing is like because healing can be extremely overwhelming especially in book situations when dealing with affixes when dealing with high hps checks one shots or whatever there's a lot of again when i want to relax i will log on to my alts i will log on to my dps alts and i'll do a key as a dps and that is honestly a holiday compared to doing some of the or healing some of the poke keys that is the best way i can describe healing right now depending on which dungeon or which affixes you're doing but here comes the big problem in terms of what should happen blizzard is never going to make everyone happy in terms of how they're going to approach healing what could blizzard do in season four i feel 
extremely disappointed with the lack of changes that Blizzard has announced for Season 4. Don't get me wrong, I like the Mythic Plus keystone changes that they did in terms of plus stance, in terms of no timer. I think those changes are really welcome, especially for the more casual players who are not pushing high keys. I think those changes are really good. But in terms of what else they could change for Season 4, which is, in my opinion, is an experimentation season. I haven't seen any affixes changes. I haven't seen any key acquisition changes. Right now, getting the keys or the, or even, how do I say? You can do so many different things. You could even do something like remove fortified or tyrannical. You could change the way that you acquire keys. Like you can do a bunch of different things. I'm not saying these are all the right things to do. All I'm saying is that go wild in season four. Do something crazy. So maybe people are going to be like, wow, this is actually so much better. And we can incorporate that in the, the war with it. I think Blizzard has not experimented enough in Season 4. And I think Blizzard should definitely address some of the healing issues. Now, I don't think healing in Season 3 is all that bad. Because I think there is a flip side to pugging. And I've been doing a lot of organized content right there. And I'm kind of giving advice to a lot of people out there who have been hating healing for the last couple of seasons. Try and find an organized group, a group of friends who, again, who can use their defensives, use their healing potions. That's another thing. The amount of poke keys that I've done, and I have Omni CD and I'm tracking health potions, the amount of dungeons that I've done where not a single person or very few people have used the health potion, I've checked a couple of odds of like five or six dungeons that I did, and I think one or two people have used a health potion. Things like that can really trigger you as a healer. If you die in Mythic Plus Dungeon and you haven't used a health potion, that's on you, my friend. Like, you need to be taught a lesson to some extent. I don't want to sound salty, but coordinated groups if you hate healing right now if you're doing a lot of pokes find a coordinated group there's a bunch of mythic plus kind of like how do you say discord mythic plus groups and things like that you can try and find a guild you can make friends you can add friends from your pokes and tell them hey do you want to go on discord do you want to play a mythic plus dungeon together because your life is going to change i'm doing coordinated content in mythic plus i'm doing really high keys and honestly i'm enjoying healing a lot because we kind of decide when to use defensives. I can tell them on Discord, hey, don't pull more mobs. I don't have enough mana or I can't really heal through this. Give me some help and things like that. Or help me with affixes. I don't have to worry about affix going off because I can tell them, hey, I'm healing right now. I can't use a GCD for an affix. Can you help me out? And they will do that. And that's why I think if you want to have the best time as a healer, you have to find a coordinated group because pugging can be an absolute pain. But what could change in Season 4 to make pugging easier? Again, we talked about affixes. Too much emphasis on healer affixes. There needs to be something done about affixes in, in general. And now the biggest talking point, and I want to know your opinion because I don't know what the right answer is. How should healing feel? Should there be a lot of healing checks out there? If there's a lot of healing checks out there, you're going to get to a point in terms of high keys where if a DPS doesn't press defensives, they're going to die. You're not really going to be able to carry them. Should there be a lot of healing checks out there or should there be less healing checks and more emphasis on healer dps like in shadowlands you're not going to please everyone here everyone's going to have different opinions do you want shadowlands type of mythic plus healer balance where dps is a crucial aspect of healer becoming meta or do you want dragonfly type of healing where you have a lot of healing checks so that is something that blizzard needs to think about or they could do something wild and give a lot more power to healers in general and make healing a lot easier and i fully expect to get a bunch of comments about healer dps because i know there's a lot of new players who started healing for the first time and they're like hey i'm also expected to do damage i didn't really sign up for this and i can see where you're coming from i know there is extremes to this where again shadowlands is a prime example where healer dps played a really important part but i also feel that if you're in a situation where there is nothing to be healed you should be using gcds in some way or form and i think dps can fill that kind of empty void i know a lot of people were also talking about maybe there should be some kind of support abilities that you can fill in or press instead of dpsing and again let me know how you feel about that because healer dps has really divided healer community in a significant way i personally don't mind this i enjoy healer dps but that is only one person's opinion let me know how you feel about this because i don't think there's a right answer blizzard is not going to please everyone there has been a lot of issues in dragonflight i don't think season three is all that bad in terms of mythic plus in terms of mythic plus healing i do think that mana or the whole aspect that blizzard chose to focus on mana as a resource has not succeeded i think they need to do something else 
but what should blizzard do in season four what should blizzard do in the future expansions in terms of the war within should they flip or change how healing works i've heard some suggestions like healing is archaic and healers should just be support i've heard some wild wild takes out there let me hear your wild takes let me hear what you would change if you like the video like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next guide